Hey, what's up YouTube? So today I wanted to go over probably one of the more important videos if you haven't, if you don't really know about any of these tools. These tools for PoE are absolutely game changing. It will turn you into a much more efficient player, will make you more currency, will make you die less, and it's just the whole shebang. So I have five tools that I commonly use throughout PoE and let's get started and I'll go through all of them and you should be a lot better at the game. And it's kind of sad that we have to rely on tools but they're necessary evil so let's get into it. So the first tool that we have is Awaken PoE Trade. Now in this YouTube disc video at the, in the description I will include all the links to download it. So Awaken PoE Trade is Let's say you have an item, right? You get it at the league start. You don't really know how much it is. Like, how much is this item? Is it 1x, 2x, 10 chaos? So you hover over the item, press Control D, and this pops up. And it shows you what the lowest price of the item is and when it was listed. And what's really cool is that you could even adjust the role, since unique items have a role or any items. So you can change the role and then it'll research it and it'll show it. So say you have a perfectly rolled item, so it's 49 chaos. So you can use this to look for items and say you want to look at the trade site you click here brings you to the trade site immediately so you can actually see what's going on this tool is invaluable i can't stress it enough if you get a random unique you have no idea how to price check it you just click on this Control d and it brings it to you and there's a lot of other features for this tool i think you can press f5 to go to your hideout or something like that but yeah, and it also has this thing where it tries to predict the price and it's oftentimes incorrect. But say you have like a shaper base, right? And you're not really sure how good it is. You can do a quick search with this and you can kind of get a relatively good idea of how much it could be worth. But it's really good for price checking all sorts of stuff and can bring you to the PoE trade site really easily. And it's kind of like you don't need to leave the game to access the trade website. Now, the next program we have here is another lifesaver. I actually found out about this only last week. It is called PoE Lurker. And it doesn't really do much lurking for you, but it does one really important thing. And this is pretty much what I mainly use the tool for. When you click Whisper, it will automatically copy and paste the message into the game and whisper to person. So I'm going to use this person as a test subject. I'm not actually going to buy this item, so... See, press whisper immediately in and it'll show you how long they have to accept the whisper. Then you can press this one to cancel it. Now this is completely game changing. And it's also like a bad part about trading in PoE because you can literally just go down this list and whisper a bunch of people and then choose who you want to buy it from. Now this can also lead to people who are selling items or buying items not responding because they actually just whispered a billion people. Oh, there's one extra feature of PoE Lurker is that it can show you incoming trades so you can see this while mapping and you can click this to send party invites so this is useful when you're mapping and you can't really like be bothered to type in and then you can whisper this a preset message that you're busy or something you can press this to dismiss the trade offer and it's actually just very useful in general and those are like the two main features I use from this this incoming trades thing to respond to messages while mapping and the other one is to whisper people from the PoE trade site without actually having to copy and paste it into the game. And using this will make your life a lot easier while trading and will make buying like bulk map supplies a lot more enjoyable. However, PoE should probably add in an auction house, but this is the best solution we got for now for trading. Now the next tool we have here is the Chaos Recipe Enhancer. So this is a tool that will help you do Chaos Recipes early on in the league. And here you can just dump everything into the chaos into a tab that you set and you can name it and then you can fetch it and then it'll fetch and tell you how many more items you need to get and it'll adjust the loot filter and there's no items in this tab so it says I need any lower level items. Oh this item level is 88 because I have it set on chaos. So there's this is the whole like interface in order to do it I can go over what you need to do. Your account name you type it in here your PoE session ID. You go into the developer tools in your browser and you, with while logged into PoE and you copy the ID and you should be able to, to find it. Control C, Control V, type in your league here and choose what type of recipe you want to do. Sometimes you want to do regal recipes, sometimes you want chaos recipes. So here for the regal recipe, 
Now I fetch again and let's see, we'll be able to find anything, no. But basically you choose how you want it to be done, exalt the shard recipe, I have no idea what this even is. Build greedy mode, include ID items. So now this is how you actually set which tab it looks for. So prefix means that it's gonna take with the name of the tag. So it'll look for the tab that has this dollar sign in front of it. And I don't know what happened to this thing actually. And then when you wanna remove the items, it'll put up this little box and it'll show you which items to take out. So it will highlight a full set to do it on. And once you are done taking it out, you push hide and then the overlay is no longer on. Let's try doing including identify items and seeing if it will find this helm. Yeah, so it'll tell you how many sets you have total and then it will tell you what you need to get. And the cool part about this is you could specify your loot filter, right? You choose where your loot filter is. Now this means you have to download the loot filter from filter play as a document file. And this will manipulate the loop filter. So it'll only show you the items that you need to complete the amount of sets in this dump tab for the chaos recipe. So it'll only show you certain items. So it won't like fully make your like loot because you don't want to pick up every rare item while mapping. And it will do this until it reaches the full set threshold specified there. And in order to do this, you have to like reset your loop filter every now and then. So every a couple maps or like a couple 10 maps or so, you can refresh the filter and it'll update dynamically with the new updates based on what items you need to find. I wanted to give a quick example of how the Chaos Recipe Enhancer works. So this puts a grid up and it'll highlight a full set for you to take out. And let's see, I was actually able to get this working. In the beginning it wasn't working, so right now you're able to fetch and it will show you that it has one helmet in here and it has zero sets ready. So when you see sets ready, you just do stash and then it will highlight one set for you to take out. And then once you take it all out, you can press it again and then it'll move on to the next set. So let's see if this works, right? So now I'm going to put in, uh, do I even have a high level? Oh, we can put in the gloves, right? So let's see if we fetch now. So it, this program is not bannable because they rate limit you, so you actually can't just repeatedly fetch to the servers, and that's really what GG cares about. So if this works, then it should show a one, right? Uh, let's see what happens. Is it still one or zero? Hmm. Did not work. I don't think the thing updates really dynamically super fast, so you have to wait for a little bit because it's based on like when you rezone and I think the stash tab since it's pulling the public API and I'm not sure exactly how fast so like this is like something that once you do a map it will dynamically update so let's see yeah see now you see there's one gloves um, and it shows up so you just rezone do a map or so and then you just keep going and then once you get the set everything shows up how many sets you have you press stash and then you take it out now this tool is actually really helpful at League Start because chaos is super important if the chaos to exalt ratio is bad. Now how long do you use this tool? It's actually very efficient to do like chaos recipes like this. So you have a dump tab, you pretty much just dump every single un id item into there and then it'll tell you how much you have and make sure to st set up stash tab affinity. So the ideal way of mapping for maximum money is to just dump everything into a dump tab, have the affinity set up so stuff gets sorted, and then you'll have the chaos recipe stuff. Use this a few times when you see that your sets are high, and then voila, you have 20 chaos, and you can easily buy your first upgrade for your build. And I feel like this tool is extremely important at League Start, especially for beginners who are confused about how to make currency. Now the next tool we have is something called LUTBOT. Now LUTBOT is something that I personally like because it has a very fast logout. So even though we're playing soft core, you don't want to be dying all the time because it's really annoying to die and lose XP. And sometimes when you know you're going to die, you can just log out and save yourself like 20 minutes or so in XP. So you can choose a logout method. Now this uses a TCP logout, so it's probably one of the faster logouts I've experienced. And more importantly, you could also set like your hideout, how to go to your hideout. I know Awaken PoE Trade does this, but this just 
is what I'm used to. And something that's pretty good, like this game is pretty much about flask management, right? So you can set the duration of your flask here. So like say you want this flask to be a 5,800 milliseconds, which is 5.8 seconds. So this will draw a little bar and the bar will be down here. So you can see more easily rather than these little lines, how long your flask is. So let's save right here. So if I press my flask, you should, wait, what happened? Yeah, okay. so you have to see these little bars, right? So these bars are easier to see. You can customize the color of it. And this is just like how long the flask is dur duration. Now playing PoE, a lot of it is having good Hello. flask uptime. So being able to see these bars and make sure you're not over pressing the flask is very crucial for mapping fast. And then when you get into trouble, you press whatever button you assign and you immediately get logged out. And it's very, very smooth play style like that. And it can save you a lot of XP while leveling up. Now, the last tool I have for you guys is something called YOLO Mouse. Now, YOLO Mouse is something that changes your cursor, right? So you can choose a bunch of different colors and options and cursors. Now, this is particularly important in this game because you can use... Because the cursor in PoE is honestly kind of small and it doesn't stand out much. And in a game with this much clutter, having a cursor this big is actually very useful. You can customize the color, the type of cursor you want to use very easily. When you're trying to click like a specific mob or some loot on the ground, this is very, very useful. It can be the difference between you picking up an exalted orb and your friend stealing it. Like imagine a mirror drops on the ground, both of you guys are rushing to click it in a pile of loot, but you, because you downloaded a yellow mouse, can see the mirror. And this is absolutely huge. But well, jokes aside, this is my favorite tool. And it's super simple, right? And it will change the game in terms of how you click. And I feel like one day PoE should probably add in some sort of cursor modification or make it a little more, uh, what's the word for it? A little more easy to see. Okay, I have one last one for you guys and girls. So here we have something called Better Trading PoE. Now, a lot of people watch my stream. They always ask me, what are these things, right? What is this on the side? So this lets you save trades. So say you have a trade and then it has a bunch of stuff. You don't always want to be typing this out. So you can press register trade and you have folders and it'll save it. And you can choose the name that you want to bookmark. So you can just think of this as like a bookmark for your folders for a POE trade. So you don't have to constantly search for the same item over and over again. Now the cool part about this, say you have a lot of friends who want to jack your build or something. You can export and share it like in pop and you can copy and paste it to a clipboard and then they can actually import over your they can import over what you have so they can do new import folder type paste the code in and then they can get exactly all your searches probably only give it to your good friends because you don't want the same person um trying to snipe all of your items and trying to take all your items right so basically, this better trading thing will just make your life a lot simpler. I'll add a link in the video on how to download it. It's pretty much just an extension for Chrome or Edge or whatever browser you may want to use. And it is something that will save you a lot of time and headache of having to constantly trying to search it, search the same item over and over again. And this will allow you to create folders before leak start for items that you want to search for or snipe and this could be very useful in, in getting an item for really cheap early on. Now these are all the tools I use and I know a lot of these tools might have a lot more features like Awaken PoE Trade but those are the ones that I find the most useful and it's kind of crazy right so I put in like six different tools and all these tools every one of them will change the game for the better it'll make you a more efficient player it'll save you a lot of heartache about trying to trade or trying to figure out something or try to click loot or trying to log out in time or trying to see your flash duration or whispering people from the trade site into the game i hope that all these tools you'll be able to use some of them or maybe all of them and it'll make your next league start a lot better and smoother anyhow i'll be streaming my league start i'm going to be trying to play a blade fall blade blast into an aura stacker and i stream every day on twitch and i'll try to be making a daily YouTube Greetings. Um, guide, a build diary for how my character is going to be progressed and how I'll gear it. So I hope to catch you there. 
And yeah, be sure to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. And see you next time.